For the first DIY, you're just going to need three different colors of oven baked clay and then rip off one piece of each of them. And then taking one color at a time, you're going to roll it out until it's about a foot long. And then you can fold it in half and rip it so that way you have two six inch pieces. And then you can repeat this process with the other two colors. So then you can take all the colors together and kind of roll them and twist them and then once it's all basically meshed together then you can fold it in half and repeat this process three to four more times. And then once you have that you can roll it all into a ball and then taking a round object I'm going to use that to flatten the ball out so here I'm using a candle. And then once it's all flattened out, I'm using the candle again with some scissors to cut it out into like a perfect circle. And now that my clay is all perfect, I'm going to take a oven bake safe bowl. And then it's best to have a bigger one so that way you can put the clay at the bottom. But I didn't have a big one so I just laid the clay on top and then pressed down the middle so that way it could create a dip. And then once I've done that, I'm going to take my bowl and put it in the oven at 175 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I let it cool for about 10 more minutes and then you're done. But before I put anything in it, I decided to line the outside with gold paint. And then once that was dry, I was all finished. So for my clay dish, I used it to put some of my paper clips and my thumbtacks in and I put it right on my desk. For this next DIY, I'm taking my glass vase and some painter's tape and then I'm going to use the paint to mark off the bottom of the vase at a little bit of an angle. And then using some gold liquid gilding, I'm going to paint the entire bottom. And liquid gilding is just a paint that's special for glass. And as soon as you finish painting it, you're going to want to peel off the tape and don't let it dry because if you do, then the paint will probably peel off once you remove the tape. And then once you've done that, you can just put your fake flowers in it or real flowers if you want. And that's it. Now for this DIY I'm just going to take several different sizes of glass jars and some painters tape and then using the tape I'm going to use that to mark off different parts of the jar and then once I have it all taped on I'm going to remove the lid and then paint the inside white 
and I like painting the inside so that way when I actually put stuff in it you can't see it and then it'll look a lot neater that way Once you've finished painting the inside of your jars, you can then use some gold liquid gilding and a paintbrush, not a sponge brush. Trust me, sponge brushes do not work with liquid gilding. But anyways, you can then just paint the outside of your jars. And then take the lids of your jars and then you can also paint those with some liquid gilding and then once you've done that you can peel the tape off of all of your jars and you're finished So in the first jar I put some of my elastics in there and then in the second I put all of my lip glosses and lipsticks and in the third I put all of my bracelets in there. So for the last DIY, this one's definitely the easiest, but I find it actually the most helpful. So all you need to do is get some magnetic letters and spray paint them whatever you call you like, and that's it. So you can use this for pretty much anything, like a to-do list or to write down anything that you like. I personally use mine to write down everything that I need to do and kind of like my weekly schedule, and I think it's most helpful that way.